wonder, and honestly, I have no idea where they're going because they are damn close to us. <laughs> You have to see this. You have to see how close the ship is. So we're at the front of the, the ship. So we are right there. And the wonder is literally going to pass inches from us. Morning, everyone. Mike and Cheryl here, and welcome to Nansenada. We'll be getting off in a little bit, but first, we're off to get some breakfast. to get off so we decided to grab a tea and a coffee from the International Cafe. Love all the delicious choices here. was to get off and do a little shopping. When we were here in 2019, there was a great little shopping complex as part of the port. We quickly found out that that was gone, but a security guard suggested a shopping area a short distance from the port. So we headed out to go look for that. a no-go. We got out to the street and the area did not look safe. So we turned around and headed back towards the ship. We found a boardwalk area that led to a straw market where you could get a few souvenirs. for Ensenada is book an excursion. If not, I'd recommend just staying on the ship. So we headed back to the ship and since it was a beautiful day, we decided to treat ourselves and booked a retreat pool cabana for the day. pool and the cabanas on Royal Princess and its sister ship Regal Princess. It's a quiet space with a little bit of pampering. Here's a little look around.
all-star space. The loungers are extra comfortable and you have a designated server who brings you whatever you want, including complimentary afternoon tea. Tonight is the second formal night, which means the captain's party in the Vista Lounge. Celebrating your loyalty towards princes, and first of all, how is everyone doing today? Okay. Let me tell you, I am very impressed, first of all, because you brought the good weather to this cruise ship. So thank you very much. I heard you were in <laughs> well, very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Princess, and welcome to this very exclusive cocktail party. Please help me as I welcome on stage your future cruise consultant, the amazing Olga. Thank you very much for such a lovely introduction, Chrissy. Good. We love going to this party and meeting all the officers, and of course, finding out the most traveled guest. guests this cruise um, are coming to the party a little bit later this evening but I am going to announce the numbers to you and I'm sure you're going to join us in congratulating him. So our first place winner this voyage coming in with 1,253 days as he goes to Mr. Ralston so congratulations to him. Since it was such a beautiful evening, we headed up to the pool deck to grab some sail away photos before dinner, then headed down to the dining room where we had a beautiful table by the window. After dinner, we decided to take in the marriage game. Such brave guests. Where, where was your first kiss? Where was your first kiss with your wife? And how much were you rated out of 10? You were being, with your uh, wife. Yeah. One being, uh, 10 being great. Where, where was your first kiss? And how much were you rated out of 10? One being, uh, 10 being amazing. Let's start with you guys, please. Um, in the aisle of a target. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> with you husbands, on the first date with you husbands, which one of these nautical terms best describes his behavior? Option A, an officer and a gentleman. Option B, all hands on deck. <laughs> or option C, the rising of the Titanic. <laughs> and now we and a gentleman. I believe it was definitely the first one. An no. officer and a gentleman. Yes, yes, well done, well done. This is not charades. <laughs> it's turning into charade. Fred, well, I believe that French charades would just be charades because you're you're mining. You're not 
finish the evening watching the dancing in the piazza. Last day on board, Royal Princess. Bye for now.